Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle here for Eat Sleep Box and Repeat. Um, it's prediction video time for this week and a fight I want to focus on is, uh, I think it's going to be a cracking fight guys, it's for the vacant British super middleweight title and it's also between two undefeated fighters. So um, one of the guys who will be competing this weekend is um, Leron Richards who is 12 and 0 and he takes on Lennox Clark who is 19 and 0 with one stoppage. Um, I think that this is a fantastic fight guys, I've watched a lot of both guys as they've came on in their careers. Um, also when, when does a British super middleweight title fight really fail to live up to expectation 9 times out of 10? But some crackers over the years, Froch, Dodson etc that, that have been phenomenal fights, phenomenal fights. Um, Groves and De Gale I believe was for the British title as well once upon a time. So it's um, it's a really prestigious title and it's a really successful weight class for Great Britain as well. So what is there not to love about this fight on Saturday? If we look into both guys, um, we'll start off with... I think we'll start off with Lennox Clark. Lennox Clark is a very good fighter and I think that... His record in terms of his stoppages is quite deceiving probably for how hard he actually does punch. Um, I watched one or two of Lennox's fights today. I've seen a lot of Lennox over the past few years but I watched one or two of his fights today and he deceivingly looks as though he punches quite hard and his record doesn't exactly suggest that with 7 stoppages out of um, 19 wins. When he puts his punches together he throws a really nice 1-2, a nice 1 and then a 2 over the top and he seems to be relatively like a broad, strong boy where I think that if you get into a physical fight with him, you're going to struggle to best him. Um, so those are, are just a few of his strengths going into the fight. I think he's got a lot of potential. Lennox Clark, very, very good fighter. One thing I would say about Lennox though is I watched the fight again. I watched it at the time. It was a great fight with uh, Jermaine Smile and... I expected Lennox to push on from that fight, but his career stalled a little bit since then. He's had three fights since that fight, I think it was in 2017, um, and all three have been against relative journeymen. Um, he stopped one of them, and the other two have went to points, and maybe need to look into that a wee bit more, but it seems as though you've just beat Jermaine Smile. Why, why are you not on a roll? Why are things not moving on? Maybe there's something in the background that hasn't came to light, but I just can't understand why he's not he's not really moved on with his career as much as we would have thought. Um, but moving on to Leron Richards, um, wow, what what a great great prospect this boy is. Um, he is someone who seems to be moving at the at the right pace. He's beat two guys who one of them was at one time thought that he was going to go all the way and fight for the world title and that's in Tommy Langford and he also beat a countryman of mine, Rhys Pagan, who Rhys was a good amateur himself and he's given some pros a really really tough time um, but I was in absolute awe of his win over Tommy Langford because Tommy Langford I think is an underrated fighter, yeah after he was knocked out by the Georgian um, I think he lost a bit of his he lost a bit of his confidence, Tommy, and it kind of took something away from him, but Leron Richards was fantastic against him. Absolutely beautiful. At times, with all due respect to Tommy, it reminded me of going back to the amateur days where you see someone coming through who'll get to the final of a national championship, but they'll come up against an elite member of the GB team or, or what have you, and at times it's just really badly being like outclassed um, some of the shots he was landing you could hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd it's probably just lucky that um, Leron isn't the biggest puncher he's only stopped I think it's three of his 12 wins um, but it's some fantastic boxing and Tommy pushed him all night so credit where it's due fantastic performance from, from Leron um, Leron if I could say his strengths it's Clearly his boxing ability, he moves really well around, uh, around the ring and if I was to say one criticism of him, 
sometimes I just thought, and don't be wrong, Tommy Langford's a good fighter, so I can understand as to why, but sometimes Tommy just seemed to land a little bit too freely on Leron, and he's going to need to be a little bit tighter this weekend, especially against someone like Lennox Clark. But fantastic fighter, and for both guys, their strengths, I would say, as I say, um, for Leron, it's his boxing ability, his movement with Lennox, it's his physical strength, and he throws a really nice crisp one-two. But we're on to prediction time, and this is one that I thought that I would maybe toss and turn about, but I'm relatively confident in this one. Yeah, we can all be wrong, but I can't see anything other than a second half stoppage or a, a points victory, a wide points victory for Leron Richards. I think Lennox is a strong, strong boy. He could be there all night pushing the action, and if Leron's not careful, if Lennox catches him, then I think it could be lights out, but um, I can see Leron just getting better and better all the time. And my prediction for Saturday night's vacant British super middleweight title fight is for Leron Richards to stop um, Lennox Clark in the second half of the fight or to win on a points decision. Um, if you want to see more from me, my name's Greg Doyle, I write for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can also check out our website. Thank you.